Good to see you, Longy. And you, bud. Uh, firstly, um, a good win against Brimscombe at the weekend. Uh, what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought Brimscombe uh, played really well first half, actually. I thought they um, yeah, didn't really have any shots on goal, but I thought they defended really well. Um, they were in the game, obviously, until 60 minutes. Um, I didn't think we played poorly at all in that first 45 or that first 60, actually, but um, we just lacked that little bit of a killer instinct, created lots of goal-scoring opportunities. Um, and then, yeah, second half, I thought we had just a really, really good 15 minutes where just an onslaught of attacks, corners, shots on goal, crosses, and then, yeah, we got we got three goals for it, one from Jilo and two from Naif. We made lots of subs then, got all, all five subs on, kind of last 20 minutes or so. We probably should have scored two or three more, if I'm being really honest, but missed a couple of easy chances. But no, good away performance, clean sheet, and got the job done. And now with no game until the 9th of November, uh, it feels like a good time to reflect on our October results. Played five, won five, conceding only one goal. Uh, that was coming against Corsham. Uh, how impressive have you been with the lads' performances? Yeah, outcomes, obviously, really, really happy. Can't, can't complain at all, can you, with five wins. Um, I think performances are interesting. I think certain players have really stepped up and done really well. I don't think we've been ridiculously consistent throughout as well. I think there's been kind of spells in games where we've not been at our best. And I think we can all we can all admit that at times, but we've not been, we've not been brilliant. Um, but to score the amount of goals we have and to only concede one, keep four clean sheets is, is testament to if we're not particularly playing well, we work hard, um, we're aggressive in how we play defensively, uh, minimising how many shots we have on our, on our goal, uh, which is great to see. And it's good as well to score a couple of set plays. We, um, we've scored, again, uh, from a throw in, I think, we've scored from a corner, a couple of corners and a free kick as well. So, yeah, good. If we're, if we're not at our absolute 100% best, we're, we're still contributing and, yeah, making it really hard for teams to beat us. So that's good news. And just mentioned, as we've got no game now for nearly two weeks, um, how do you go about training now, keeping up that intensity and positive momentum without any competitive football? I mean, the good news is it gives us two weeks to get a couple of the, the injured dads back in. Um, so get, great to see Josh back on the pitch on Saturday, um, as is Reno. Um, but again, yeah, we've been utilising the whole squad and it's been excellent to see. We've got a game tomorrow. So the university lads have got Chichester um, away tomorrow. We've obviously, we'll train really hard on Friday. We'll give the lads a weekend off because they deserve it. And then, yeah, back in training next week. We'll have two, two training sessions. Still got another game. Um, Under-18s have got a game. Under-19s have got a game. Senior 1s, Senior 2s have got games. So our lads will all be playing fixtures in, in midweek. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have the Friday morning training session in preparation for the FA Vars, which will, yeah, fingers crossed we get another good run. Cheers, Lovie. Thanks, bud.